Welcome back to uh, another episode of my Vivor mini lathe journey. Uh, I finally have the things that I need to test the run out. This is going to be a run out test of the lathe chuck holder. Um, I in the in one of the previous videos, probably the actual this previous video to this, I had gotten a uh, magnetic base holder and. When I opened it, these are these are the types of things that maybe these videos will help. I don't know this stuff. I don't know to check for this, that, or the other. And it, it really comes down to what fits what. Um, so for instance, this right here is where you mount up to magnetic base holders. That was the first thing is, well, how do you mount this thing? You know, it comes with a, well, there's all kinds of attachments you can get uh, some magnetic bases that will screw through here and hold it flush. Uh, one of those might be nice to check for uh, parts as you're coming in and, you know, across the the cross slide or you're, or you're moving your, your compound across a piece, you can see what your run out is. Uh, or if you're, you're turning a piece up off of the compound, you wanna see how that measures. But I don't have one of those. What I wanted to do is test the run out because I, I can use this to hopefully do all of that but anyway when I purchased this this is three-eighths and it's three-eighths of an inch the problem was most of these cheap the cheapest ones the small ones the one that you saw earlier magnetic bases they're eight millimeters pay attention when you're ordering this stuff if you go with something that's got a three-eighths shaft those eight millimeter ones are too small. And I'll show you, let's get this opened up and see. I, I, I ended up deciding, I turned, I, I returned it. I didn't want it. I didn't want to try to modify it. I, I had planned on trying to modify it. Um, in the end, I decided I'm just gonna return that thing, get something that actually fits the dial indicator that I purchased. So this is, this is what came. Um, I'm opening it up. I guess this is kind of an unboxing too, but, um, the packaging is certainly much better than the last one. If you look at the last video, it's it was just thrown in there. The box was kind of trashed up. Um, this one is certainly way heavier. It's bigger, but I don't mind as long as I can find a place to mount it on this lathe and it works. Uh, I should also say, I apologize, in the background you hear this whining noise. Our neighbor kids have these little electric four-wheelers and they ride them around the cul-de-sac all day long so i can either wait and do a video without that noise or we can just have a little background noise so that's what we're going to do so let's proceed with unboxing this uh it's packaged well there's a couple different bits of literature uh the box is not all destroyed it's certainly more substantial get this out of the way um it's got the same features that i was looking for let's see if i can bring this up a little bit it's got the same features that I was looking for. Um, you know, you got your magnetic base, you've got the single single point where you can loosen the whole thing up, get it dialed in where you want it to be, and tighten it up and it stays. So that, that's what I was going for. Um, and then if you notice, there you go. Let's get this out of the way. This. is nearly three eighths. The other one was eight millimeter. And what I was gonna show you, let me grab a pointer here. What I was gonna show you is there's not a lot of meat on the outside of these, uh, of this circumference. And if I had attempted to drill that out to be three eighths off the one that was eight millimeter, it would have made this, if it would have even worked, this would have been so weak that it would have broke. So in the end, I said, you know what? It's just, it's just time and effort. I'm, re I'm returning the other one. This one was, I don't know, $5 more. Um, it's, it's in better quality. The last one, yeah, it's machined better. The last one had some junk. I don't know if I caught it on video, but it had some just poorly machined off the bottom and it had some junk on the bottom of it. Um, 
this is probably here's the the brand that it is i got it off of amazon i wasn't looking for a particular brand i just wanted something that had the right shaft so um i don't i don't know how it works i uh, just opened it you saw what i've done um but what i want to do is get this up i just want to test the run out on this lathe see i want to see how how well that portion of it was manu manufactured i haven't done any of that again i've done some small projects that really are not precision and uh they're they're working okay uh, for those projects but i kind of want to see where this thing stands uh, before we get to that though let's check out the literature that came with it if you're interested in purchasing one of these things uh, of course it's got some web pages to explore buy some more crap uh, if you're unhappy they want to make it right it's, it's again far better than the other one that i purchased and then probably some hey, you could also buy this from us or that. Or maybe maybe this tells you how to use it. This Again, there were no instructions on the last one. Yeah, so here's how you use it. So it comes with a, a guide that's better than it was with the other one. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this over here on the lathe. We've got you mounted up in the other stand there. What I want to do, you know, there's not a lot of room. You can't see it down here, but there is a spot. There is a spot underneath here that I think it might fit. And I can manipulate this. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm going to try to do that. Um, let me get this somewhat in a usable spot and then I'll bring you down here and show you what what I'm planning on doing yeah Put this over here okay Let's see if this works I'll bring you down show you my plan I think that's gonna work let me bring you down here set up all right so there's a spot right down here on the on the bed I guess you would call it and if I take this off you can see it's just the right size for this particular mag base so that's what I think I'm gonna do because I'm testing the run out get it mounted up over here and then slide that down. Well, I need to, let me do that with my free hands, but because we don't want that thing moving around at all. We can't be doing that. So let me get it mounted and then we'll, uh, then what we're gonna do is mount the dial indicator and we'll, I wanna test the run out off of this section right here, not this, and then we'll test this. But initially this is the plate that came with the lathe and how it was all mounted. I put this on later when I got the ex got the uh, additional toolbox and those pieces. So I wanna see how this runs out. Let me put you back over here so you can see. All right, let's make sure this is on here. There we go. Make sure this is on here nice and tight. I don't like that. Wish. Wipe it off. Wipe it up. Let's try this again. There, that's pretty solid. No, oh, I see. Let me raise it up a little bit. Let's see if that. It's got to be the casting. It's not rocking anymore. I got it. So now we can move this. Let's make sure you're in shot. Bring you up a little bit. Bring you closer. What we're wanting to do is mount this dial indicator. 
And this is the moment of truth. We didn't even try this. Get this mounted up in here. Look at that. That's better. Can you see that? You can. Let's turn it a little bit. There we go. Turn that a little bit. Kind of get this mounted up there. You just want to tighten that up so that that's on there. And then what we want to do is turn this dial so that we're at zero. Well, at least that's what I want to do. Yeah, let's bring it back a little bit. Well, I guess it moves a little, but I, for this purpose, I think we're going to be fine. All right. Again, this is not, well, there's a fine adjustment. That's kind of handy. Maybe. Uh, let's bring this over here. Kind of hard, kind of tricky, because it, every time you touch it, it's pretty sensitive, almost there. Right there. So right there we're at zero. And I don't you can't really tell, but I am on it's down around the side, but I am on this back flange. And what we're gonna do is run this around. The angle you have might show a little bit on you know that this is off, but but trust me, it's it's on there uh, on the zero. And what we want to do is just see what the uh, what the run out is. Hopefully it's not much. So there's just a little bit, about one thousandths. I would say that's about one and a half thousandths run out. Now for a cheap mini lathe, I've done nothing up in here except grease the gears in the back. It's a cheap mini lathe. It's within one and a half thou correct me, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong there, but I'm quite sure this is, yeah, this is thousands. So that's within one and a half because it comes back across the zero a little bit over here. It's about, about a half a thou and then it's at one thou here. So the run out of that, the swing is, is right at one and a half thousands. I can't say I'm displeased with that. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go the other way. Yeah, about one and a half, one and a half thou. Um, so for more informational purposes, if you're looking to buy one of these lathes, um, they do seem to be fairly accurate. You know, again, this isn't a name brand, highly expensive lathe, but for what I'm ever gonna do, I think uh, one and a half thou of uh, run out is ex quite acceptable. Let's check the actual chuck and see what that's looking at. Cause I might even be able to loosen the screws and, and move it a little bit, but let's get this moved over. We're gonna put it right about there. Hopefully you can see that. That's it. I know there's some fine adjustments on that too, but for now, I just want to check the runout of the lathe chuck. 
Um, let's run these. If you didn't get a chance to check out my chuck key holder video, um, I encourage you to do that. That was my first kind of functional project. Well, they're all functional, but it's kind of nice to have a place to put that. So let's turn this out. We're still, we're, we're still at zero. Okay, there's about a thou. That's a, okay, there's a, maybe that's a little high spot. One and a half thou at, at a high spot there. Two thou. Two thou on one of the jaw face, faces on the uh, diameter. But other than that one, so it's like a high spot right here. Two thou. And then it, it comes back down. So I guess you would call that two thou. It's a two thousandths off. Now if I wanted, I could maybe fix that. So here's a high spot. There's a two thou. If I wanted to put a mark there, say so here's my high spot, I could maybe unscrew those and, and kind of try to get it to seat down farther a little the other way. But regardless, I'm not, you know, I might actually try to do that a little bit, but it's still, it's only two thou out with just slapping it on there. No real, uh, no real tricky setups or anything. So anyway, I actually now have a mag base that I can mount my dial indicator up, do some testing. I can use the same base and swing it over in many different directions that I need to, you know, mount this, you know, if I'm trying to check different parts, I can mount it to the, you know, up here, bring this over, take this off. I can mount it back here, for instance, and I can try to be careful with it, but we can get it set up to where we can run, you know, back and cross, back and forth across a workpiece. You know, I've got plenty of travel with these longer arms, it's bigger, but you can come back, you know, and forth if you're trying to center it up to the actual compound for your cutting faces. So it's gonna be quite useful. It's, I think it's something, if you're looking to know what you must have, I think you're gonna find yourself wanting to get one of these as well. If not, you're gonna struggle if you do get into some sort of precision. Um, but I think that's it. I was able to check the run out. I, sh I showed you the run out. It's, it's within two thou on the actual flange and it's within two thou, or it is around two thou for the actual chuck itself. Um, otherwise, I, I think that's pretty good information. That's the kind of stuff I was looking for when I was uh, researching to buy and I just couldn't find much information out there. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to hope to see you on the next video.